Rose has been working for Camilla's house almost 25 years, with the exception that she took a break and worked for three years in a hospital in Kenya and also spent some time working in a hospital in Haiti. You hear these stories of what our, our, our Project Lazarus team does, and Rose is a core part of that. As a psychiatric nurse practitioner, she is assessing whether individuals can benefit from psychiatric meds and beyond that ministering to them if they have a health issue while they're on the street anything from having to deal with horrible wound care on the street um, to trying to stabilize someone who is in a moment of decompensating the population that rose has chosen and has a passion to serve are the poorest of the poor these are folks living on the street with zero to no access to health care she is helping not just heal their wounds, but in many cases, give them that sense of hope. Many folks that will not utter a word or a sentence to anybody else, but have reached a level of trust with Rose. Nurses are angels. We have so many healthcare heroes, but when I look at Rose, um, I look at someone whose mission in life has been to serve this population. Cheryl Cottrell is the type of person who rolls up her sleeves, who's totally dedicated to her patients and to the Florida Keys. You know, she's a longtime uh, resident of the Keys, uh, someone that the community has depended upon for many years, and that was you know, never more so the case than right after Hurricane Irma. There are only three hospitals in the Florida Keys covering you know, a huge geography, and Monroe County issued an evacuation order. And so what we tried to do, and led by Cheryl, who was the chief nursing officer for, two, for both of our hospitals down there, really was to tend to the very last patient and to evacuate at the very last minute. And we had a hard time getting her out of Mariner's Hospital. The Monday after the storm, Cheryl was going 24-7. On Tuesday, Mariner's Hospital began seeing patients. Um, people had nowhere else to go. And so there were heart attacks, um, there were strokes, and there was a lot of stress in the community, obviously. But within a matter of days, um, we established a basically a field hospital there with uh, remote units and uh, tents. Cheryl is a, an RN with an advanced degree, and she has done it all. She was able to direct the younger staff, you know, because we didn't have the computer systems up. And she was the type of leader and generalist that you really need in an environment like this. Bridget Pillai is a healthcare hero for, for many, many reasons. We actually hired her at FIU helping run a uh, disaster medical response team that we call FIU FAST, which, st which stands for Florida Advanced Surgical Transport Team. The disaster Hurricane Irma was that, you know, powers out in most of our community. I was personally called by the CEO of Baptist Hospital of uh, West Kendall Baptist, as well as Jackson South. So they asked if we could deploy members of our FAST team, physicians, PAs, and nurses, uh, to sort of assist them. They had over 100 plus people in the emergency room. So the only person I could think of was Bridget and uh, what a job she did. Her job, based on her experience as a nurse as well as a paramedic, um, has, has impressed me. And recently we had the very sad and tragic uh, building collapse uh, at FIU. The hard part with Bridget was to keep her off the bridge pile because she wants to be there and she wants to go save lives and work with the paramedics. Bridge the persons you, you actually want out there in a time of disaster who will actually say, follow me, do this, and people tend to follow her. She is focused on how can I be a better responder in times of these most difficult disasters? How can I recruit more people, physicians, nurses, PAs, and paramedics, but also she trains. Not only trains for herself, but trains others and inspires them.